Okay, so we show that uh, there's a root of the equation that's between 1 and 2, right? You remember the intermediate value theme? It says that if you have a continuous function, okay, uh, now this function over here, it is continuous because it is a polynomial function. We first let f of x equal to this side of the equation. And the other side, I try to make it so. You can leave a number there or you can keep it so. In order to use the intermediate value theorem, as you uh, remember from the lesson, uh, you need to have a function and then, the, uh, and then you want to have an intermediate value. So I leave it so here on this side as the intermediate value, which is the n, uh, that's the intermediate value. And then I will let this side over here to be a function f of x right here, okay? Now, now f of x equal this, then this is a continual function because it is a polynomial function. So it's continual on all the number, okay? Now, some of you ask, what is this side over here? This means all real numbers. And some of you ask about this, what is our tangent? Uh, our tangent is the same as inward tangent. It's an inward function of tangent, okay? It's the same thing, okay? Okay, now over here, uh, we're looking for a solution of this uh, given equation. The intermediate value theme says that uh, if a continual function continue on a closed interval, say a to b, if this n over here is a number between f a and f b, then there is a number between a to b. Uh, let me draw it, okay? So remember in that, if you look at that uh, the lesson, so you have a to b, and if you have a continuous function, okay, from a to b, which means you have no break in between, okay? So you won't lift up your pencil from here to here, okay? Now, uh, f of a here is, so this is f a. So the function value here is f a, and function value here is f b. So they're different, okay? So they're not equal. And then you pick any intermediate value in between, say n in between. So n is between f of a and f b. Then there's guarantee that you can find a number c, okay, this number c down here between a and b. So f of c is equal to this n, okay? So the n here is the intermediate value over here. It's in between this one and this one, okay? Not necessarily in the middle, just in between, okay? Okay, so we have this continual function and continue on all the number. So certainly it is continued between one and two. Okay. Let's take a look at this F1, okay? Uh, F1 over here, A is one. So F1 over here is less than zero. F2 over here is his greater than zero. So zero is an intermediate value between F1 and F2 because this one, so if you look at the picture, looking at this picture, we have one here and two here. F1 over here, it is less than zero, okay? F2 over here, it is greater than zero, okay? So now zero is an intermediate value, okay? Zero is intermediate value between F1 and F2. Then guarantee that there is a number somewhere between one and two, then the function is going to Take on this intermediate value. So somewhere between one and two, then the graph is going to cause this x-axis, okay? So less than zero, greater than zero, then you have to cause zero right here, okay? So uh, looking for a solution, number between one and two, such that f of c is equal to zero, okay? So f of c here, f of c is equal to zero. Therefore, we take a equal to one, and then b equal to two. And this intermediate value over here, it is zero, n equal to zero, okay? And f1 less than zero, f2 greater than zero. Zero is intermediate value between f1 and f2, okay? So that is n equal to zero, is number between f1 and f2. 
So uh, since efforts continues because it's a polynomial, so that the intermediate value theme says that there is a number C between one and two, such that FC is equal to zero. In other words, this equation, okay, this equation has at least one root C in the given interval one to two. This interval here is open, okay? So the intermediate value theme say that uh, it's in the open interval. So you can actually make this interval to be smaller. Instead of one, you can make it 1.2, I get 1.2, and then f of 1.2 is still less than zero. And then I got 1.3, f of 1.3 is greater than zero. Then you know that the intermediate value, okay, so it's intermediate value between this, the two function value at the two end. So C is going to be, so we know the root is somewhere between 1.2 and 1.3. And then you can even make it better. You put 1.26 here, less than two, uh, function value is less than zero. And then 1.27 here, the function value is greater than zero. So you know the root is between 1.26 and 1.27. So this is the idea. Okay. Does that answer your question? <laughs>